Hey guys, Clawolf here, and today I have a really quick video kind of uh, going over a simple new concept that's only possible in 1.17, and that is vanilla aimbot. <laughs> so what this lets us do is target automatically to some entity while you're aiming the bow and then fire. And it only works on certain bows, so not this bow, but it works on this bow. And if I try and look away, it like kind of gives comes back. Now you could consider this aimbot. You could also consider it aim assist. And you can really branch out on this topic if you want to like on this idea. If you want to make it better, you can actually add some aim assist elements. Uh, but it's a lot more complicated. And obviously that's not what this video is for. It's just to kind of show some cool new stuff that's possible. Uh, so to do this, uh, if you just want to play around with this and uh, don't care too much about the commands, you just want to play with this. Go to the link in the description. There will be a zip file. Drag the zip file. Go to your world save that you want to use it in. Go to the data packs folder and drag the zip file into this folder here. And that's it. And then type slash reload. And then it will work in your world. Uh, then all you have to do to get your aimbot bow is do give app bow aimbot with a bracket first. 1b and done. And that will give you an aimbot bow. So uh, some important things to note about this uh, is the way that I've programmed it here is it tries to target you to the nearest thing that is probably something that you want to hit with a bow and uh, and it does the nearest one uh, regardless of how far away it is. It'll try and target you onto it. Uh, so what this does, it, it's kind of uh, broken because I also edited the... Uh, snapping amount to be very high so it like turns your head very quickly and uh, you might see some weird behavior where if you're like this completely away from it it'll kind of like go up and down but uh, that's just how the command works but it's it's uh, actually only one command for this so we'll break into how this works pretty quickly here so in the data pack there is just a function called aim an advancement called aiming and a function called aiming so what the function does is when the advancement is granted, it plays this function and revokes it. So let's take a look at the advancement because that's kind of the important part here. So the advancement is a new uh, advancement trigger called using item. And what it does is it triggers uh, the reward function or aiming every single tick that you are using the item. Now what this means for bows, if you select a bow, which has a custom MBT. What this means for bows is while the bow is charging, it will constantly run a command. And we couldn't do this before. We could only run a command after you've shot uh, the arrow. So this lets you do stuff while you're charging the bow. Also lets you do stuff while you're holding right click, like defending a shield and so on and so on. Sadly, it doesn't work for right click carrot on a stick. So before you comment new way to do coast, no, doesn't work. Maybe it will in the future. So the advancement goes here. And it takes away the advancement so it can give it to me again the next tick. And then the only command we have to run is my approximate rotation command. I'll leave a link to the video on how this works in the description. Uh, but just to sum it up here, we uh, are facing the nearest entity that is not going to be me. That's why I have zero point. So it has to be some little distance away from myself so I don't target myself. But it will target you on to anything that is not of this uh, entity tag called uh, ignore. And what it'll do is it will do this uh, thing I came up with myself, which does kind of like a uh, angle approximation. So it gets kind of the half of the dis angle between you and where you want to look. Uh, and then it has some factor, which is a rela relationship between 0 0.5 and 1. The closer these two numbers are together, the faster the snapping is. Uh, and then uh, makes your head turn that direction. So it's a little bit complicated how this works in theory. But... The point is one command will give me kind of a smooth rotation. Uh, now, some kind of possible future applications is you can make it more accurate what you actually want to aim bot on. So instead of just doing the nearest entity, what you can do is you can maybe use a ray cast or the new little trigger thingy function that is uh, going around, which lets you detect what somebody's looking at. So you can detect if they are looking at something um, and if they are similar to like how an Enderman works. So you can detect if they're looking at something without using any commands, uh, kind of. And then you can use the uh, aimbot command here on that specific thing so that it will target roughly what you're looking at. Uh, and it'll make it more accurate like you'll you'll home in on it because there is a certain degree of uh, accuracy there 
Uh, but yeah, that's something you can experiment with if you want. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I have here for you guys. Pretty cool little application and uh, new 1.17 tricks. Uh, if you thought that was cool, leave a like. Go ahead and check out the download if you want to use it. It's in the description. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.